Hello everybody, today we're going to do a quick little evening video. Um, I was going to film this earlier today, but it's been showery rainy, um, so we've held off till now. Um, so what we're going to do today, as you can see, we are in a, one of our grazing fields and we have got some bare patches in, you know, in, in the grass. So what's caused these patches is, as you can see, we've, we've got rectangular sections in the middle. Um, that is because, so the reason for these patches, last summer, late summer and into the autumn, we were feeding dry cows in this field. Um, and this, the rectangular patches are a feed trailer. So we were bringing a, bringing a bale of hay out and moving the trailer around. And obviously the patches where they're not trod is where the trailer was. Um, and the cows have damaged the areas around it. Um, it was too wet in the autumn to fix it. And this field in the spring, again, it was too wet to fix it until we'd grazed it off. Um, so we've grazed it now. So what I'm gonna do, I came in last week and I slitted this, this section of the field. I didn't do the whole field. I just sort of did this, this section across here. Um, so you can see the slits in the soil. Okay, so these are the slits that the slitter, the slitter created. So I did originally start to slit this part of the field with the, the slitter was on the back of the 178. Um, so the plans were, we were going to do a 178 go slitting video. Um, but on the end of the first run, so I put the slitter in, in the ground, went to the end. Um, and on lifting up at the end of the first run, there was a little crack and one of the link arms had broke. Um, it was a previous repair I wasn't aware of, had uh, broken again. Um, I wasn't filming it, the camera wasn't running it at the time, and I didn't have enough, you know, I hadn't even recorded the first run, um, so I couldn't make a video of that, so there is no footage of that. Um, but instead of getting a 178 go slitting video, um, in a few weeks' time you are going to get a 178 gets repaired video, so look out for that. Anyway, right, so what we're going to do tonight, hopefully, before it gets too dark, what we're going to do, we've got the chain arrows on, we're going to come in, we're going to chain arrow just the bare bits. Um, I'm not going to do this part, um, because it's been grazed, it is now shooting again. So we don't want to knock any grass off, we're just going to try and get a bit of a tilth into the bare, the bare bits. Put some seed in, um, and we ain't going to get it rolled, it's going to rain overnight. Now, it's, we're, I don't think it's going to get rolled in, but I'll try and harrow it in, and hopefully that will be enough. This is what we're going to use. We have got the 35 out again. And it's not got out and gone back to bed yet after the fodder beat. Um, and we've got our mounted chain arrows. And one thing that's quite interesting about this little combination, if I come round this side, you can see, hopefully, is it picking it up? The dealer sticker. John Wallace Tit and Company Limited. Might see it better that side. Okay, so this tractor, I've been into the history of this tractor, um, and I know it wasn't sold new by these people, it was sold new by a different dealer, so it must have been traded in at some point with these. And the chain arrows, also, a slightly newer sticker, but the same company. Um, so these are parameter folding chain arrows, I think they're 12 or 13 feet wide, um, manually folding. Um, parameter an old Wiltshire company, so this set of harrows, made in Wiltshire, sold by a Wiltshire company, and came to this Wiltshire farm, never never moved very far from the county. So nice local little machine there. Right, so we'll get set up, we've got to fold it down. I think the top link's set close enough to where it's gonna be. So we'll go and we'll go run up and down, make our tilth, and then we'll put our seed in. <laughs>
right, so we've got our little bit of tilth, so you can see what we scratched up. Um, this end was actually pretty flat, but as we got farther down there, it was a little bit rutted up. But we've leveled those off now by going up and down and up and down and then changing direction, going around again. So we will now put our seed in. Right, so we're getting ready to put the grass seed in now. So this is this is some seed left over from uh, when we drilled with the 178. So this is the grass and clover mix. So we're going to put it in the old fashioned way, just chucking it out by hand. Um, we do actually have another Wiltshire made machine. It would be ideal for this. It is a an Alvin Blanche, the manufacturer, it's a grass seed box. So it runs on the same principle as the grass seed box on the drill. It's got brushes in, um, but it's 16 foot wide and it sits on the back of a 35 or another small tractor um, with land speed PTO. So you put your land speed PTO in and then as you, the fa obviously the faster you move then the brushes rotate in relation to your speed. Um, and if you stop, they stop so you're not ending up with a pile. Um, the problem is, it's like I say, it's 16 foot wide. Um, it, so it's obviously it's got to be transported about on a trailer. It's not worth getting out for this little bit. But I'm sure, if some point, but I'm sure at some point in the future, it will probably be coming out, and uh, that will be another interesting video of uh, putting grass seed in with a box. So I'm going to go real quick because it's getting late. Right, let's get going. <laughs> Right, so there we go, uh, massively inaccurate, probably grossly over sewn, you know, kilos breaker, but uh, nice and quick, got the job done. Um, just spread it out as evenly as I could. Uh, yeah, that's how they used to do it in the old days. It's way too thick, but you know, there we are. So you've probably noticed in the last couple of videos, on my own, and I've just used it just then, I have actually now found the time lapse function on the camera. Um, so you'll probably be seeing lots more of that coming up. Um, I've used it in a few videos already. So there we are, you're learning stuff all the time. So I'm quickly going to just harrow this in, just to it over, uh, just to bury it a little bit, because I'm not going to get it rolled tonight, it's too sticky. Um, I would pick up dirt on the rollers on the way here, which would then stick to the grass, um, which is not good. So quickly, I am just going to run over and just tickle it in, and that will be it.
right, so there we go, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, hopefully now it's going to rain overnight, so that will water the seed in nicely. So I will say thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.